Derek from Sum 41, oh, and, yes. and I can't thank you enough for taking the time oh, to no meet with me. No so, problem. Um, how has the Warped Tour been going for you guys this year? Very hot. Yes. It's been like this every day, but crowds have been amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, any memorable moment for you? I mean, just the, the I guess we're, we're always, every single day that we play, it's always a nice surprise to see how many people are actually coming over to our stage. Mm -hmm. We kind of never really get used to it. And there's always been such a great reaction, so <clears throat> that's always a very nice surprise. Yeah. Every, every day I'm walking to the stage, I'm always wondering, is this going to be the day no one's going to be at our stage? Oh. <laughs> I don't think you ever, I don't, I think at this point I don't think you have to worry about that. Unless you play at like 11.15, then, then it might be a situation, but, yeah. no, but then what's, what's your favorite thing about the Warped Tour? The crowds. Yeah. I mean, you get to play in front of so many people, and, um, you know, the crowds have been really enthusiastic, so it's always nice, you know, every show, I don't think there's been a bad show yet for mm -hmm. us, so. Oh, that's great. <coughs> As, um, What's one thing that you'd like to see the Warp Tour that could make it do that could make it better for the bands or the fans? <clears throat> um, I guess the only complaints that I hear from kids is that um, this is like the there's a big area for people to to stand in, but the PA doesn't reach all the way back, so mm -hmm. they don't really hear what's going on very well. Gotcha. It only goes, uh, you know. 30 feet but there's you know thousands of people right so thousands of people aren't really getting to hear what everybody in the front is getting to hear right and I think I think with all the different stages it probably makes it tricky and you almost yeah. I think the sound bleed over might be you totally. know, maybe the reason that they don't have it at, that at the level that they might normally be able True. to do it too what band have you enjoyed watching the most on this tour um, I haven't really seen too many bands to be honest, yeah. uh, but I would say Pennywise. Oh yeah, can't go wrong with yeah. Pennywise. Yeah, I haven't, I, how's the new singer? I mean, with, as He's far good. as, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's hard for me to hear too because I'm on the side mm -hmm. and I don't get to hear what's coming out of the speakers. Right. <clears throat> but uh, they, they seem like they're like, they seem really like they're enjoying themselves on stage, which That's is good. important. That is. Um, if you were, if Kevin approached you and said, okay, you know, you can add one band to this year's Warp Tour, who would you have invited along? I don't know, because all the bands I listened to, like, I couldn't pick the Stones, you know, couldn't right. pick Elvis Costello, <laughs> couldn't pick the Police. Uh, I don't know. I See, I'm not good with that kind of stuff. But, uh, that's He's the one that picks that stuff, and he's oh, good yeah. at it. And then which band on this tour would you say has the best chance of hitting the 10 album mark and remaining relevant? I have no idea. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, those are the kind of questions that I don't think about. Yeah. That's not my job. No, I don't, I don't blame you. Um, and then I have a thing called the mystery question, okay. which basically I've got every, there's a number and it corresponds to a easier question, okay. one of the more fun, so. Your hands are all sticky. Though. Oh, hey, that's okay. Number eight. Which, which, number eight. Let's see. No, oh, see, I've been doing this all day. All right. Let's see. All right. Number eight is. Oh, thank you. Um, what band on this tour surprised you, per personality-wise? Like maybe you thought they were going to be a certain way, and it's like, oh, they're <clears throat> not. Um, I, to be honest, I haven't really seen or met anybody on this one yet. Yeah. Other than Pennywise, so. <clears throat> I just don't, we don't know anybody on this tour. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. It's kind of, been, no. it's been too hot, really, to go outside, and, you know, we wake up a few hours before the show, we do this kind of stuff, right. now we're going to go back, get ready, and we're going to go on stage, so right. we don't really have much time. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's, that's all right. Um, of all the charities and causes on this tour, because they're, you know, they, they always add more and more, which one would you say is your favorite one? I don't even know which ones are on, to be honest. <laughs> No idea. Oh, they, that's, well, there are. A, there's well, a lot good. of them, so yeah. I didn't know there were charities on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, three items that you personally can't live without on Warped Tour. <clears throat> three items? Yes. Good old trusty drink. <laughs> um, sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess my guitar. <laughs> oh, that's good. No. And lastly, what message do you have for your fans? We have a new record coming out pretty soon that we're all really excited about. Uh, it's called Screaming Bloody Murder. I'm not quite sure when it's going to be coming out because we've done our part, but it's all the business people are trying to right. figure that whole thing, how it's going to come out, when it's going to come out. <clears throat> but we're trying to get it out as soon as possible. 